Hi everyone, it's Flash DKK11 here, and today I'm here to talk to you about my hair. This is Janet Collections Indian Remy Afro Jerry Curl hair, and I have 16 inches and 14 inches in the back sewn in, and in the front I decided to crochet my hair with 18 inch bulk hair. It's the wet and wavy texture, so the hair comes straight and then you wet it to activate the curls. And I definitely recommend that you wear this hair as a wig because the instructions kind of hint towards it and also because the hair is kind of difficult to manage. Uh, I'll just talk to you about the instructions. They basically say to achieve natural wavy look, dip the hair in water until thoroughly wet, squeeze water out gently with a towel, do not use comb or brush while hair is wet. If there is excess water, gently use hands to squeeze dry the hair. Leave hair on wig stand to dry. So that's basically all you're gonna get with the instructions. And because of that, I definitely recommend wearing a wig. Um, this hair tangles, it sheds. These are things that are gonna happen with this hair. Uh, I can't sugarcoat anything, but I will say that when I detangle the hair. I finger detangle the hair on a daily basis and that way I have minimal shedding and I will add a clip somewhere showing you how little shedding I have when I finger detangle. When you comb it out you're gonna have much more shedding and it's kind of pointless and tedious to do so so in my opinion definitely finger detangle the hair on a daily basis and then once a week when it's wash day or whenever your wash day is brush it out to make sure it's devoid of any tangles and if you're gonna go swimming speaking of tangling and shedding uh, tie your hair up you know I know we all want to take pictures with our hair looking cute and everything you know but when you actually get into the pool because I did recently swim twice in a chlorinated pool and I lost this much hair because my hair got matted and tangled in the worst way because when I swim, I really swim. I don't just wade in the water or tread water, I actually swim. I do handstands and cannonballs and craziness goes on when I swim. So definitely when you swim with kinky or curly hair extensions, tie your hair up, think about it, you know, think about preserving your hair. Uh, this was definitely mostly my mistake and not thinking about what would happen and the consequences because I would not go swimming with my natural hair all over the place. So definitely bear that in mind if you're going to go swimming. You will have a lot of tangling if you don't properly take care of your hair. Uh, to define my curls, I like to use Shea Butter Miracle Bouncy Curls Pudding by African Pride and this is definitely my favorite thing to use to define my curls. I have my maintenance video where I show you the different ways that I define my curls and this is my favorite. So definitely if you have curly extensions, you know, consider using this product. And um, I flat ironed the hair once, only once. And I only did it because I wanted to know does the hair revert if I flat iron it, can it come back to this state? And it did. In my opinion, if you're going to flat iron this hair, you know, go for it if that's how you feel. Personally, I got this hair for this texture, but bear in mind when you do flat iron your hair, it's going to still be coarse. Well, it's going to be coarse. It's actually going to feel more coarse when you flat iron it than it does when it's curly. And it's also going to be tedious. It's going to start to revert. If you sweat in the back, it's going to start to revert in the back. And for me, it was like I flat ironed it just to see, just to test the hair because I like to test hair to see if it really does what they say it will do. But if you're going to want to have straight hair, definitely, you know, wait it out and get your next, you know, install of weave and make sure that is straight so that you can enjoy the straight texture because you're not going to enjoy the straight texture with wet and wavy hair. That's just not going to happen because once it hits water or humidity, it's humid over here, you know, once the humidity hits, you're just going to look crazy. So definitely, you know, it will get straight, but it's not worth the effort, in my opinion. 
and it will revert it will definitely revert back to normal definitely one thing I noticed however though was that the um, bulk hair the bulk hair is not as kinky curly as the weaving hair I don't know why or maybe it's just no it's just not as kinky curly as the weaving hair that's one thing I noticed for some reason that's it just looks I'm gonna show you a picture but it's not as kinky curly as the weaving hair for some odd reason but it still looked really natural and that is why I love this hair because so many people have asked me in the streets like is that your real hair is that your real hair every time I go shopping people ask me do their hair to look like mine because they thought it looked like you know it was real and so I've told so many people what kind of hair this is um definitely you know if you want to go for a realistic look this hair is really good for that and um it's nice it's a nice protective stock for your transitioners your people who are natural people who feel like their hair just isn't there yet you know some of us have uh hair journeys and want to grow our hair out so many people want to grow their hair out or their natural hair out whatever but they're just not quite there yet so definitely consider some hair that is like this or this hair in particular but um definitely you know it's really <laughs> realistic looking so many people have asked about it so many people have thought it was my hair and um that's why i absolutely love this hair but if you're not the type of person who will focus on upkeep with your hair, you know, take a look at my maintenance video and you'll see how I maintain my hair. If you're not the type of person who takes care of your hair on a daily basis, don't get this hair because you will be disappointed. You'll think there's something wrong with the hair. And you know, you know, for some to a certain degree, some things are the hair's fault, some things you know, it's going to be your fault because you didn't properly maintain your hair. It's not going to be like straight hair. Straight hair is easy to maintain. Straight hair will give you a very easy time. So bear that in mind if you choose to have this hair, that this hair is work. It's a daily thing. You make sure at night you put your hair up. In the morning you take it down and define your curls. And one thing that I did uh, when I knew that I was too tired or too lazy to take care of my hair was I would just kind of put it in a bun and just kind of like have it like that for like two or three days so that's another option you know just for those days when you just know like okay I have a busy week ahead of me I'm just gonna go ahead and bun my hair or just tie it up somehow definitely that works out and you know it helps keep your hair longer because you're not manipulating it too much and you just kind of have a nice sophisticated look especially if you're like a nurse or something and you have to go to work and you can't just have your hair all over the place you know just tie it back and it looks really pretty that way so that's pretty much it for my video uh, if you have any questions comments just leave them below you know talk to me about the hair you know if you have any concerns and um, I will address all of those uh, that's pretty much it yeah <laughs> thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you guys later bye